Good morning guys. It is 7.53 and as of this morning we are at 226,670 minutes. So getting there, getting there. It's not impossible. I have some videos to edit tonight. Um, I was meaning to post something over the weekend but I got a little caught up. Hello, Super Bowl, right? So today it is another homage fragrance and it's memoir. Man. Sniffed it off the bottle. Mm. Gosh, I know I'm gonna like this one. So it's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, eight. Oh, eight's good. Eight's good. Mmm. Smell it already. So, oh man, that's good. It's got, um, a lot of things that I'm a sucker for. All right, so you guys know I love me a good leather fragrance. Love a good leather fragrance. It's got a nice dose of leather. It's got woods in it. It's um, very fresh. Hmm. It's got the right amount of florals in it too. It's not like too florally. I'm gonna go and say that this is still wearable for women. It's really nice. I would wear this. It's not overly masculine and Man, the men have some good offerings. Like, listen, us women, I don't know. Not a huge fan, like I said in my last video, of anything that's, of not, I can't say anything. There's like three, two that I like a lot. And then one that I'm kind of a fan of for on the women's side, but I'm really loving what they got for the men. It's got like this really nice um, spice in it too. But it's very fresh. It's very um, it's very minty. It's very uh, just like clears your nose like a peppermint or something. Oh my god it's beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see what's in it. Okay, top is absinthe, wormwood, basil, and mint. Mint. Uh, heart of rose, frankincense, lavender, absolute. Base is sandalwood, vetiver, guaiac wood, amber, vanilla, musk, oak moss, leather, and tobacco. Mm. So I am going to head into work right now. 7.58. A little early I gotta take care of a few things and I will check back with you guys at lunch because I'm not working out today I have to cover the phones I gotta run some errands gotta do some adulting so yeah check back with you guys later all right guys so I just got home it's 5 52 um, it's been about what ten um, nine and a half hours since I sprayed this on I really thought it'd still be around I know that's asking for a lot but just given my history with this house i really did expect that i really enjoyed this for the first i want to say three to four hours that's when it was like the most present when i first sprayed it on it was very heavy on the leather um i got some 
florals in there. I found out later it was rose. Um, didn't like scream out to me as being rose. It just smelled florally. And um, I could definitely make out the mint because it was very fresh and in my face. And then once it dried down, I really got this. Oh, and there was a lot of woods in the opening too. Um, once it dried down, I got a lot of the basil <laughs> that really started to pop out at me, which is really interesting because I don't think I've ever smelled basil in a fragrance like this before. The woods and the leather blended beautifully and it was really pleasant. Um, I still had, again, that floral aspect in the back. Um, it wasn't as pronounced as the basil. That and the leather really stood out to me the most in this. And I got a good amount of projection throughout the day. I definitely knew that I was wearing it. Um, did not get any comments about it, but that's all right. I kept sniffing my wrist and it honestly only lasted on me for about eight, which is not bad. I'm not complaining, it's not bad. Very noticeable again for the first four and then just kind of a skin scent after that, but still very good. If I had to pick one fragrance so far um, from the men's line that I'd want to wear between the two that I tried, I'd probably go, see that's tough. I got better wear out of Lyric, but I really like the basil and the leather in Memoir. Decisions, decisions. Um, I think I think I would go with Lyric because <laughs> I have a lot of leather fragrances. I mean, the basil's really cool. This is still totally wearable by women. I wish more women would wear this fragrance and talk about it. Um, you know, I know that there are a few that do talk about the ones that are marketed for women. And from the men's side, I mean, I, I'm so far enjoying them all. They wear exceptionally well, and I think that I don't know. I feel like the men have better offerings than the women do. I'm still sticking to that. Both Lyric and Memoir are very wearable in my opinion. Um, you can wear them for date night, office. Um, they do project a little bit, but it's not so much. Again, it also depends on how much you spray. I did a good eight sprays. So again, I really thought this would last a little bit longer. But I'm not complaining. Um, I'm definitely going to pass this sample along to somebody else so they can enjoy it too. Hopefully it ends up in the hands of another female because I really think that a lot of women aren't giving this one a try just because it says man in the title and that's a big mistake. Some of my favorite discoveries have been in the men's um, cologne section. So. I definitely encourage more women to give this one a go. In fact, I'd encourage them to try this one over the one marketed for women. I know I've been saying that a lot lately, but I'm really sticking to it. It has a slight cologne feel, I'm going to warn you, but it's nothing too crazy. It's not like green Irish tweed. You know, that's like on the really masculine spectrum for reference. This is more toward the feminine side, but it's not a feminine fragrance. It is, it's still masculine. I don't want to upset anybody and get any uh, boxers in a twist or whatever, but you know, it's not the most masculine fragrance I've ever smelled. Very wearable, very enjoyable. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, um, put them down below. I love hearing from you guys. And tomorrow I am going to do um, epic for men. I hate that word, epic. I hope it is an epic fragrance. Stay tuned.